pollution of earth, water, and air. Through mining and burning of fossil fuel is a big problem for us. The world's energy demand of 15 trillion watts is going to double by 2050. We need clean energy and clearly the answer is the sun. No wonder the ancient people were sun worshippers. We have solar panels. But they convert the energy of the sun into electricity only as long as the sun is shining. Yes. The problem is when the sun sets, everything stops working. Batteries can store the energy from solar panels and are perfect for cell phones. But they are still too heavy for large applications such as powering airplanes, ships and trucks. The best way to store the solar energy is within solar fuels. Approximately 70 times more energy dense than the best battery. We can make solar fuel by mimicking a process called photosynthesis with which a leaf converts water and carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Scientists call this artificial photosynthesis. For more than 10 years a lot of research has been done and many new materials have been developed for artificial photosynthesis. Some scientists are working on a cool new technology. Guess what they use? Soap bubbles. Specially designed soap bubbles filled with carbon dioxide. And when sunlight falls on them the CO2 is converted to fuel that can be burned to produce energy. Let's hear more from the scientists. Among all renewables, solar is by far the most abundant on Earth. Just imagine that the sunlight striking Earth in roughly one hour carries enough energy to power all human activities in an entire year. Look around us. Plants are able to use the sunlight energy and the carbon dioxide in the air to make leaves and fruits. And then it takes a lot of time to transform these leaves and these plants into fuel, which we dig from the ground and we use uh, for our transportation. And the problem is that this process takes a lot of time and our society is using very quickly a lot of fuel. So if we want to sustain our energy demanding society, we need to be able to find a way to use the sunlight energy and CO2 that is in the air and make fuel, but without the plants. Making fuel out of sunlight and carbon dioxide with a soap bubble, you might think this sounds like a crazy idea, but this is actually the plan of this project. Uh, and what excites me most about this is the fundamental science that's, that's involved in this. Our goal is to take sunlight water and carbon dioxide and convert it directly to fuel. A fuel that you can store from summer to winter and use whenever needed. A fuel that you, you can use for transportation. And our contribution is to develop CO2 reduction catalysts and dyes that can harvest light and convert carbon dioxide into fuels. <laughs> well, if you really want to know what's going on on the molecular scale, you need special techniques to see uh, how CO2 is being we have to bring all of this together to form this really tiny and fragile reactant space where all this chemistry and all the, in the end, all the magic will happen. Uh, the project is very interesting for us to open a new market and to, 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 to have a new application of our instruments. It has been a very organic journey for me and how the project has evolved uh, up to this point, which is the kickoff. Point, and we will see how this how this goes on.